Always be careful of hugging more than one wall when building the 2x2 two two farms. They are the most picky of all the buildings. Houses are the least picky. I can't wait to have that clay flowing. I made a tragic mistake by not having enough uh, building materials. Now wood we have plenty of, but wood is more important to have than clay because clay is not a raw material for anything. Wood is a raw material for salt, metal goods, pitch, and by extension, um, pelts, and ships. You know, no end to these for wood. Oh, how many did I just build here? Give me a number. Never tell me the odds. I mean, there's, I'm not even sure that if there's that much I can do to increase the volume. There's certainly nothing I'm doing on purpose on my end to reduce things. And in fact, by all merits, what I see on OBS is that my speaking volume is pretty high. The game music volume is kind of low, but that's because I don't want the obnoxious kaboom of the, uh, of the ships to roar over everything. And obnoxious is the word there. There we go, that should be fine for Nimwagen. I mean, sure, it needs thousands of materials, but that's probably okay. And I... Okay, my warehouses were never built either. Nimwagen needs supply big time is what we're getting at. Which means I need a ton of Alberg's finest, which also means I need a... Uh, I do have a wild card for river cities, though. Where are you? Wild card Kungsberg. And since Nimwagen and the other one are the only ones that I'm supplying, Nimwagen and... What the heck's it called again? Something else. The name ain't important, as Tony would say. And I can throw in some Crayers as well, since this is the wild card. Snickers could be in as well. Hold on. What's the speed of a river cog? Okay, it's six. It's raining so heavily outside right now. Let me tell you one thing. I love the rain. There's ver There are very few situations in which I do not welcome rain. Now, I might have Stockholm Syndrome when it comes to the rain, having been brought up in Scotland and living in Stockholm, two extremely rainy places in the world, but that doesn't, doesn't demerit the fact that I really like the rain. So I'm even happier right now. Okay, not so happy knowing that my number of river cogs is not that high, but at least I have a wild card to run with. So I'm going to start by abducting a load of wood and taking that over to Cologne. Not Cologne, Nimwagen. The Bundiku is out again. And they're going to get what's for. Have some wood. I'm going back for the rest. Satisfying. Now this wild card is pretty slow, they haven't done much sadly. And I saw that. Why was there a pirate that escaped? All of my places should have people guarding them. So what's he gonna do? Okay, well he went to he went to the Danish scum. And I can't cancel it since he came for me. ships are worse than I am here. Good job, though. Really want that clay. Then again, Stettin produces clay, which they are probably currently using to build more of their own stuff, but regardless, they produce clay. They produce quite a lot of clay. Hundreds per day. But there are a lot of other workers and other businesses that shouldn't really be working in those other businesses. 
I could buy them and tear them down, but that's expensive. I mean, it would cost me six million to get to get all these tailors. But he employs three hundred men. And I would love to tear those down. And there's a wineries, and he charges me an arm and a leg for those. This is also ugly, though. I mean, I need that clay, but I would love a revolt thing here to just throw them away. Uh, okay, Jim Chapman, get to work. And where possible, I just want to eliminate the Snickers first. We take only the best around here. And since I have 100% pirates, these battles pretty much always go my way. Hmm. I'm not actually sure how it works with the employment of people with you versus others. But where is People Mover? Oh, he's in Danzig, so I wanted to pluck those Danzig people. Cogwall, eh? So what happens if there's a pirate ship that does not go straight into port then? I wonder. What is that? Okay, could it be that I forgot to send the Scarborough man to do his job? No! Get in, please, is apparently there and ready, but not fighting the unknown pirate. Oh, okay, get in, please, is finally fighting. I mean, this is not a fleet to be scared of. good enough. Can't you just crash the market? I could, but where was I even looking at doing that? It was Stettin, right? I quite like Stettin. I don't want to burn it to the ground. I mean, does he charge me that for all of these ones? on that cathedral as well. I don't think there's any stopping it. Once they get these high uh, high populations, they just want to build these up. I might have to artificially push down uh, populations across the board. Or simply accept that they're going to go high. But that makes things very unmanageable, especially since I really want to have all of the uh, all of the Lord's lands. And it's not impossible to keep everything managed that way. The Profit margin won't be so good for me, but if I keep an equilibrium with 10,000 people everywhere, except for Harlem, because we're already uh, too deep into that one, then it will work out. Can't you just flood to Stettin with tons and tons of gold? It takes a while. It takes quite a long while. And I'm not up for micro when I can do it just by abducting these. But also, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I am the more popular guy here. They should come flocking to me. I am also, however, lacking in a few of these, so... That should be good. Once they finish that wall, I've got a lot more uh, buildings to build. All these... Uh, all these people fighting, I think these are... Uh, are belonging to my nemesis in England. Right. Beautiful. And we get our goods back as well. My 
just really looking forward to flooding everything with brick. And there we go, Stettin is now pretty much at population cap. Almost. Okay! That's not something you see often, and it's honestly quite terrifying. 100% on the population limit. It would be real nice if I just had... Um, had the revolt option here. Because then I could just do that to him. Character assassination might help. It probably won't. I mean, when I look at... Uh, what is it? I think it's this guy. He's at 74%. So if I uh, if I say sure, go for it. Just as your conversation partner takes the sack full of gold, the town guard walks into the cavern and looks around. Your guest slips away and disappears through the back door. Thank God you were not seen together. Okay, but did it work? Who's to say? It was probably just wasted money. These tailors, however, they're not going to need... Uh, well, they don't need to exist, full stop. Still, would like more people working for me rather than him. Ah, well, we'll give it time. I mean, Stettin is fairly fresh. But with Stettin built up, I could probably start thinking about other places. Oh man, Danzig is dying on its arse. Excellent. And I've barely built anything here, so it's not like I have much invested. He still charges an arm and a leg for the buildings, but it feels good to know that everything's dying. Also, uh, Pole Man wants yet more money, as he always does. What a horrible freaking mechanic. So punitive. And I am not doing famines for you. Oh, we sank the wrong ship first. Well, whatever works. Hmm. Yeah, sure, but that's a special case, Nitro. Well, fairly special. Alright, things are looking pretty prosperous here in Kungsberg, as it should. The wine is flowing. Do I actually send that wine out? Did I make wine brigades? I must have, but I fear that I don't actually disperse meat as much as I should. Since I actually have a reasonable amount of meat coming in from Stavanger. Some might even say the most amount of meat. Also... Oh yeah, Stavanger I wasn't too worried about because the AI built buildings in clever places as opposed to downright stupid places. Still though, we bring in plenty of meat here. Probably even keeping up with demand at that level, which is a nice change of pace. Bergen also brings in some meat, so not bad. And clay and wood. But there's nowhere that's actually over capacity, right? Scarbara is. Why? Please tell me it's brick. No, it's a bollock ton of wood. I need to look at Scarborough here. Apparently, Scarborough is meant to give me a little bit of beer, but a ton of mead. I actually built up these mead breweries, but I didn't really give this place the, uh, the honey it deserves. Also, Scarborough got looted. I probably should have checked on it and taken that money for myself. Is anywhere else under siege? Well, Boston was as well, so... Maybe not. Point is, the money is mine, and taxes are going up. Any of my other holdings being sieged in Nashved is currently under siege. Well, they're not going to find this money in the treasury. No way, no how. Good. Hmm. Harlem, I was a little concerned about not enough uh, businesses here, but mostly not enough hemp. I still need to address the hemp problem. That's not going to be addressed until I address the clay problem, which Stettin is trying to deal with. But the fact that Scarborough is flooded with wood is a bit of an issue. Hmm. 
Yeah, sure, it produces bees. I could tone down the wood. Put them into the other businesses. Wow, that shifted pretty much everybody. You'd think they were a bit... Uh, Okay, I guess I have a ton of mead breweries. So between these two, they they do just about everything. All right, that's kind of cool because that means that I do have access to a good amount of mead here. It's not part of my plan currently for Scarborough to produce. No, that actually covers the mead production quite well. That's more than I need on the honey, but that's okay. My question is, do I have a Scarborough to Alberg mead? Relay team. Scarborough to Alberg. Just wood. Well, if I'm actually going to be producing this, and nice, I produce enough honey to keep everything flowing. I should produce some wood though, or else my uh, the other one's going to feel a bit lonely. Like, I don't want my relay for wood to stop. Still, that's good. It means I'm going to have plenty of meat coming in. A hundred a day. That might actually solve some of my issues. And by some of my issues, I mean the issue that I don't have enough meat coming in. That's good. A hundred a day. I guess a single carvel could take care of that. Scarborough to Alberg Mead. And what do we have as names? Not a lot of names coming in, so if you do have good names, use the link in the top. Unless your name is Barcode Battler, which because you're bringing in a ton of them. So many hemp ones. Hempy cog, hempness. Shot a cog, tear trade. Yeah, I don't mind the uh, tear trade. That's a bigger capacity than really we need here. But it's a case of set it up once and never need it again, so I'm happy enough with that. And I do have quite a lot of Carvels. So in Scarborough, load all the mead. In Alberg, unload all the mead. We should eventually be flooded with mead in Alberg, and that's when I'm going to start dispersing it. So that's the Scarborough to Alberg mead. Get to it. Is there anywhere else that has too much of something? I would have figured Boston would have a lot of stuff, but Boston is meant to give me 100 salt and nothing but. As it stands, you give me a ton of clay, and I really need that right now. To the point of me firing some of you so I can get even more clay squeezed out, because I'm that kind of guy. Otherwise, I like Boston. It just sits and works. It's a lot like how Rostock was until it decided to take matters into its own hands and build a cathedral. Still not impressed with that. I just had to tear down a business which was no longer profitable, and I have you alone to thank for that. You're very welcome. All right, make with the clay, everybody. Oh, that's the Bundy Cun again. I mean, this guy is going to continue to harass me whilst I force Lubeck and uh, Danzig to die horrible deaths. But boy, do I like seeing these guys die horrible deaths. It just fills me with... I just had to tear down a business which was no longer profitable. And I have you alone to thank for that. Oh, hell yes. And there's Alberg. I mean, my enemies still have plenty of people working for them. And I think the only thing that will help is revolt. But unless I can find revolt... Hmm? Yoink. Still not showing me where the red X was, was it? No. No, it is not. No, Stettin is the one place I really want the revolt mission, but that's not showing up. Yeah, he's a popular guy, my enemy. Can't complain too much, though. This is a decent amount of clay to be bringing in. I guess Ehus. 
produces too much wood and not enough clay. Okay, actually, that's good news for me. Ahos is, uh, has a ton of clay. So I can grab... Oh man, I'll never find him there. I can grab Wild Card. Coinsburg, that is. And grab all that clay and work with uh, Nimwagen. One of these days I'm going to accidentally hit automatic and I'm going to be unhappy with that decision. Beautiful. Yoink. Alright, now we're off to Nimwagen. We're going to make that place shine. And all I really need is a river cog or even a few crayers. And then the whole clay situ the whole hemp situation for Harlem is never going to exist again. Take that clay, I know you need it. You take it too. And then all these buildings that I've been trying to build for the longest of times will actually get built. Let me prove it. Crunch. So this is all gonna get done. Oh wow, a lot of things are going to get done. Well, I already have my warehouses, and I don't think I really need anything else in the center here, so I'm just going to go uh, clay crazy. I can just bring the clay over, and since I keep this place fairly well stocked... Wow! Look at how well stocked this city is. It gets everything. It actually gets everything. I'm not even joking. The only reason it has no clay is that I just went and used everything. So no wonder it's an upswing and it's trending upwards. The downside is the population sucks. The other downside is I can't really get much population to it. Because I don't have any cannons. Coinsburg has nothing with cannons on it. The only thing that would get cannons are upgraded crayers. I could hold a meal for the poor here. I could easily hold a meal for the poor here. Once these buildings are built, there's not much point doing it beforehand. That's great though, just great. I'm happy with that, I'm very, very happy with that. So Ahos has helped us out big time there. Hmm. One of the lesser known slash cared for islands, eh? Hunter, find me that treasure. We win again, my friend. Does this island have a name? I can only assume it does, but it's probably not important. Oh, just like the amount of money that it had for me. Jake, do what modern day Netherlands can't do. Make Nimwegen desirable. Oh, I will. As soon as these buildings are built, which will be in three days, we'll host a huge meal for the poor. And oh man, it's going to be biblical. And I really hope I don't have to be this patrician guy for much longer. Also, also... You there. Just look at how fast that goes down. It's terrifying. You forget about it for a couple of weeks and then he's suddenly peeved off. Same with you. I gotta just throw money at you until you sort off. Alternatively, oh man, Neshtet is still under attack. Don't you dare touch my coffers. You just gotta like stare at this waiting for it to come up. And then it doesn't, and then you feel very sad, and you go away. All right, Nimwagen, you've got plenty of hemp, and I admire that. So now we're gonna have a huge meal for the poor. And that daily increase. I just had to tear down a business which yes. was no longer profitable, and I have you alone to thank for that. It's music to my ears, just hearing people that have been horribly abused by things that I do is just, mmm, nipple-rubbingly good. 
Danzig, which once thought itself so big and mighty, is dying. 36 businesses. Some of them I... Or some of them are mine. This tailor is mine, for example. And nobody wants to work for me, so I have no problem just demolishing. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't do that. Danzig is somewhere that I'm actually meant to produce a few clothes in. Oh, well, I mean, it's hardly a big deal. <laughs> I'm bad. So Ehus is really helping me out with the whole clay situation. But okay, it's good to know that the wood is normalizing as well. I don't know how, but it is. Probably because I've lowered uh, its production across the place. Shoot, Gothenburg. I was waiting on your wall. No, you weren't the one I was waiting on. But there was somebody who had really high uh, building capacity and I was waiting on their wall to finish. Otherwise things were going to go tits McGee. Couldn't have been you guys, you guys were fairly recent. It was probably Stavanger. Okay, no, Stavanger we caught. Was there anywhere else that I really cared about when it came to housing occupancy? Novgorod's looking good. Are you sure it's stagnating? But hey, look at all these honey places. And they work for me. But Novgorod isn't meant to produce honey for me, it's meant to produce cheese. And I already have quite a lot of cheese, don't I? No. Well, maybe I need more river cogs. Helsinki is meant to be doing quite a lot of that for me. But there's never truly enough of them. And I think I told Malma to make me some as well. Just regular cogs. Not even a large shipyard, which is disgusting. But at least they're still at minister level. And how did I ever deal with the iron shortage? Maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but Bruges is meant to bring in the metal. Yeah, smelters are plenty over in Bruges. They'll eventually get the clay that they need. I'm sure they have the wood. Bruges should be growing right now. That's a bit of a problem. They get plenty of goodies, just not much else. So I'm going to grab the wild card Thagnus, which still has all this wool that I don't have much good things to do with. All right, I'll grab the wild card Thagnus and tell them to take that clay over to Bruges so Bruges can start building up in my interest. I just had to tear down a business which mm. was no longer profitable and I have you alone to thank for that. Mm. So good. There you go Bruges. So that's what you get. Yeah, not happy with the fact that my maximum security sentries are very often failing to catch these uh, sabotages. And what am I paying them for? I did a better job in security. And I'm me. Here you go, Bruges. Well, it makes more sense to stick it into the stockpile, because they will sell it to... Uh, they'll sell it to market as and when needed. They'll do a better job than I can. But Bruges, mine, doesn't really produce anything. You're producing so much wool right now. My main problem is that I'm not using it properly. That's another main problem. Tell me he didn't build more houses. He probably didn't build more houses, but he wants to. I need to build Harlem up to capacity or else my competitor is going to build more houses. Sadly, up to capacity means yet more sheep farms that I do not currently need, but will in the future. So Harlem is looking at 100 wood and 66 clay. Well, we have 66 clay. That's kind of odd. We have 100 wood. That's also kind of odd, but whatever. When it comes to the smoke houses, the get smoked houses, we need 217, we have 105, so who wants to build a whole load of these? 
Might be an idea to build clay instead of fish houses right now because everybody knows that the demand for fish is not that high. And I can replace the clay places later. And there is a lot of build-up to do, so it would very much be in my interest to have a butt-ton of clay here in Harlem. More so than all of this uh, wool malarkey. But 